Hello everyone. Today we will discuss uh, introductory part of histamine. Histamine is nothing but uh, neurotransmitter or it is also called as a chemical messenger. After completion of this presentation, students are able to clear what is uh, histamine and its synthetic synthesis of histamine degradation pathway and chemistry of histamine and little about allergy first of all what is meant by histamine chemically this histamine is nothing but beta imidazole ethylamine this contains imidazole as a basic nucleus with ethylene breach substituted with amine that's why it is ethylamine with imidazole that histose means tissues biogenic amine or autocoid as a local hormone in mast cells histamine as positively charged is held by acidic proteins it mediate ad allergic hypersensitivity reactions and regulate gastric acid secretion this is a uh, histamine shows a dynamic structure or it form a two tautomeric form histamine the imidazole ring of histamine exists in two tautomeric form which is identified by which of the two nitrogen atom is protonated this imidazole ring contains the two nitrogen atoms the nitrogen further away from the side chain the side chain away from this side chain this is a nitrogen atom from this this is a nitrogen atom is a tail nitrogen and is denoted by lower case tau sign this and the nitrogen closer to the side chain is pros means this nitrogen is closer to this side chain closer to the side chain and this is far away from the side chain these are the tautomeric form it which is uh, denoted by pi sign means closer nitrogen is denoted by pi sign that is indicated in the structure this is pi sign the tail tautomer histamine is uh, preferred in solution as compared to the prost tautomer that is n pi h histamine the tail tautomer means tail tautomer it is n t h histamine on the left hand this one is the left handed is more stable why this is uh, left handed is tail because this is protonated this nitrogen is protonated nitrogen this nitrogen is not protonated that's why this is tail tautomer in case of this this is what pi sign it is called as pros because this nitrogen is what it is protonated this is what closer to this ethylene bridge this is closer to this ethylene bridge that's why it is prost tautomer histamine has two basic nitro basic centers namely the aliphatic amino group this is aliphatic amino group this is aliphatic amino and this is aliphatic amino group and whichever nitrogen atom of imidazole ring does not already have an proton means out of this two nitrogen atom this imidazole contains two nitrogen atom out of this two the one nitrogen is not having proton means these two nitrogens are basic centers of this histamine under the physiological conditions the aliphatic amino group having pk around 9.4 will be protonated whereas the second nitrogen of imidazole ring will not be protonated that is pk 5.8 this is the chemistry of this histamine i repeat again this histamine is a tautomeric imidazole ring is tautomeric form this imidazole ring is is in tautomeric form how it is tautomeric form the nitrogen far away from this ethylene bridge are considered as a tail 
this is the tail and this is pi nitrogen and if this is a protonated nitrogen this is protonated nitrogen this one is protonated that's why these are two tautomers of histamine and histamine having a two basic centers one is this ethylene amino and the nitrogen atom which is not already protonated means this in case of this this is not only protonated these two nitrogen atoms are basic centers in case of this one is one first and this one is not already protonated these two are the basic centers of the histamine this is regarding chemistry behind the histamine then synthesis and degradation histamine is synthesized biosynthesized from histidine in presence of l histidine decarboxylase this decarboxylation reaction this is the histidine and this is converts into histamine in presence of decarboxylase enzyme degradation there are two pathways one is ring methylation and oxidative deamination means histamine is converted into methyl histamine this is one number nitrogen is substituted with ch3 methyl histamine then this methyl histamine is further oxidized in presence of monoamino oxidase to gives methyl imidazole acetic acid this is methyl this is imidazole acetic acid ch2coh acetic acid this oxidative deamination mainly diamine oxidase is enzyme converts into imidazole acetic acid which is further conjugation with ribose form imidazole acetic acid riboside this is the histamine synthesis and this one is the degradation of histamine it is synthesized in mast cells basophils of immune system cells of the gastric mucosa and certain neurons neuronal synthesis and storage can be divided into two pools slowly turning over pool that is mast cells and basophils and rapid turning over pool gastric <coughs> mucosa and histaminergic neurons histamine storage is primary site is mast cell granules then non mast cell granules histamine is released there <coughs> there are two mechanism to release of this is immunological release the most important mechanism for histamine release is the response to an immunological stimulus and the second type of release occurs following chemical or mechanical injury to mast cells in this injuries cause degranulation when once the histamine is released by your body during an allergic reaction and acts on the specific histamine receptor once this histamine is released in allergic reaction or during allergic reaction this histamine is binds to histamine receptor there are three types of receptors histamine receptors are three types h1 h2 and h3 receptors mainly h1 receptor is responsible for inflammatory inflammation and allergic reactions H2 receptor is responsible for primarily gastric acid secretion and H3 receptor is little known this is feedback inhibition in central nervous system these are the receptor subtypes H1 H2 and H3 which is distributed in smooth muscles gastric mucosa and CNS respectively again these are H1 H2 H3 and H4 receptor this h4 receptor is <coughs> unknown most likely also g protein coupled receptor this is recently discovered in 2000 h4 receptor is recently discovered in 2000 there are widely expressed in components of immune system such as the spleen thalamus and leucocytes so what is allergy allergy are uh, caused by an over sensitive immune response the immune system normally protects the body against harmful substances 
allergy symptoms occurs when the immune immune system reacts to allergens that are generally harmless and in most people do not cause an immune response this histamine lead to inflammatory responses ranging from runny nose to anaphylactic shock so these are the common allergies first one is airborne particle have fever grass due to grass weeds time of tea grass fish trees and mold spores then due to drugs penicillin penicillin sulfonamides etc then due to insect stings bee sting venom and wasp sting venom animal products and food food allergies and so there so these are the common allergy types of allergy allergies symptoms are first related to nose swelling of the nasal mucosa allergic rhinitis eyes redness and itching allergic conjunctivitis airways bronchoconstriction then ears filling and fullness possibly pain and impaired hearing due to lack of eustachian and tube drainage this is regarding histamine its structure chemistry what is allergy types of histamine types of histaminergic receptor and biosynthesis and degradation of histamine thank you